What is acidity? What causes it? How do we know we are suffering from acidity? How to get rid of acidity quickly and naturally? Watch this video to know the answer to all these questions. Acidity is a chronic problem, the main cause of it being indigestion that is kulma. So first we need to get rid of indigestion. Unfortunately, allopathy has no permanent solution for indigestion. It only suppresses the symptoms temporarily. Ayurveda and Siddha medicine have permanent solution for indigestion. However, they recommend a rigid diet and lengthy elaborate treatment. Both of these systems identify 8 types of kulma that is indigestion. We will discuss these 8 types in another video. There is also an entire book on indigestion called Kunmam written by Sarboji II in early 19th century. I will provide the link to that ebook in the description box below. Lastly, there is nature therapy which is cost effective, quick and efficient. Following a healthy and sustainable lifestyle can help avoid the acidity and other stomach problems from even starting. So what is acidity? Acidity or pH is measured on a logarithmic scale of 0 to 14. 0 being the most acidic and 14 being the most alkaline. Our body maintains a pH that is acidity of about 7.4. If the pH decreases, acidity increases and vice versa. An acidic body reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of the cells and in the long term this can lead to cancer, heart disease, arthritis etc. There are a lot of causes for acidity. Mainly, acidity is caused by indigestion, which in turn is caused by long-term overeating and reduced digestive fire in the stomach. The symptoms of the problem show only after several months or even years depending on the age and general fitness of a person. Some other causes for acidity include smoking, drinking alcohol, irregular meal times, late night eating, disturbed sleep, lack of sleep, eating lots of rich, spicy or fried foods, peptic ulcer, excessive secretion of hydrochloric acid in the stomach, acid reflux, poor digestion, etc. Take a look at your habits to see which one of them is causing you acidity. Take suitable remedial actions accordingly. The general symptoms of acidity found among children are inadequate weight, vomiting, cough and reduced appetite. In adults, the common symptoms include discomfort, prolonged heartburn, chest and stomach pain, gas formation in the stomach, inflammation in the chest, gastroesophageal reflux that is acid reflux, flatulence accompanied by burps, vomiting, nausea, loss of appetite, constipation and indigestion, blackened lips, white coating in the tongue, and rough lines in the nails are symptoms of indigestion. Now that we have seen the definition, causes and symptoms of acidity, let us now move on to the remedies. Follow these simple home remedies to get rid of acidity and even avoid them. Number 1. When there is acute pain or discomfort, drinking a glass of warm water helps relieve gas from the stomach and reduces acidity quickly. It also helps relieve mild constipation. Number 2. Drink 3-4 to four glasses of buttermilk throughout the day. This naturally relieves acidity, constipation, restores appetite, boosts our metabolism and improves digestion. Number 3. At night, half an hour before going to bed, drink 1 4th ml of cold milk mixed with a teaspoon of pure raw honey. Milk is not only alkaline in nature, but it also contains the amino acid tryptophan which helps you fall asleep quicker. Number 4. On holidays and weekends, take half a glass of white pumpkin juice or banana stem juice or tender coconut water on an empty stomach in the morning. The juice should be diluted with equal amount of water except for tender coconut water. Avoid lemon juice on this day as all of these juices are very cooling in nature and you don't want to catch a cold, especially during this COVID situation. 
Drinking banana stem juice is known to dissolve kidney stones. White pumpkin juice on the other hand helps relieve ulcer and aids weight loss. Last but not the least, as a general rule, get rid of any constipation and improve your digestion by having a healthy and sustainable diet and exercise regime.